In this video, we're going to have a look at questions involving chords, bisectors, and Pythagoras. Now, when you're given a circle, when you see a line which joins one point on the circle's outer edge with another point on the circle's outer edge, that's what we call a chord. Now, when a chord is split down the middle, we see that the chord has been bisected. That means that what's there is equal in length to what's there. Now, what you end up with are two lines which are perpendicular. So we call, we call the line that you see there vertically, we call it a perpendicular bisector. Now, the key to success very often with questions involving chords and perpendicular bisectors is often adding a line. Now, once you add a line from the center to the end of your chord, what you end up with is a right angle triangle. And as you know, once you've constructed a right angle triangle, that then allows you to use Pythagoras, it allows you to use trigonometry, and by and large, any questions which involve um, chords and perpendicular bisectors, it's going to be a Pythagoras question. But it's going to come at you as a Pythagoras question in disguise. You have to construct the triangle very often yourself, and you've got to know that the hypotenuse squared is the sum of the square of the other two sides. Okay, so we'll have a look at two examples of the kind of questions that you can face, and then we'll give you a couple of questions to do yourselves. So if we look at this question, we've got a mirror shaped as part of a circle. Um, you're told that the height of the mirror is 35 centimeters, and you're told that the distance from the center to the outer edge is 24 centimeters. Now, what you've got to do is work out the length of the base of the mirror. Okay, so you've got to find the distance from A to B. Now, what you need to realize, first of all, is that because we know the radius is 24 centimeters, then the same is going to be true for the distance from the center right up to the top. Okay, so that distance there is going to be 24 centimeters as well. Now, because we were told that the distance from the top right down to the bottom is 35, that means that we can say that from the center right down to the bottom, that's going to be 11 centimeters. Okay? Now that we know that we have a right angle triangle, because this would be bisecting the chord of the original circle, if we imagine the original circle, what we've constructed is a right angle triangle. So if we just focus on that right angle triangle, if I just maybe a wee sketch of it just now, we know that its hypotenuse is 24, we know that its shorter side is 11, and we can find the shorter side, the other shorter side, just by using Pythagoras. So if we do that, we can say that x squared is going to be 24 squared, minus 11 squared. We work that out and we get 455. And we can then work out, square rooting that, that x is going to be, to one decimal place, 21.3. And that'll be centimeters. Now remember what you were asked to find wasn't just the distance from A to there, but the distance from A to B. So A to B is going to be double that. So we'll just say that the distance from A to B is going to be double 21.3, which is 42.6. And include your units, and that's you done. So you've constructed a, tri a triangle, and you've used Pythagoras to find an unknown dimension, which we then go on to use to find the answer to the question. OK? So if we have a look at another example, very often these questions will involve oil tanks or tunnels or um, things like that, cross sections of, of uh, uh, in this case, tankers and so on. Um, that's often what you'll find that the question is based on. So here we have a tanker delivering oil. You've got uh, the oil seen uh, lying in the tanker. And you're told that the depth of oil is uh, what you're asked to find. Now you're told here that the radius 
of the circle is 1.9 meter. Okay. Now, what you've got here, going from A to B, is a chord. So what we have here is a chord. Now, the secret, as we said, very often, all you have to do is take your chord and bisect it. And once you bisect that, you can then draw another line to form a right angled triangle. Now we know that the radius of the center of the circle, sorry, is 1.9. So that blue line I've just drawn is 1.9 meters. Now what else do we know? We're told that the width of the surface of the oil is 2.2 meters. So we're told that the width of the surface of the oil is 2.2 meters. So if I just draw another line that goes from A to where the perpendicular bisector crosses the chord, I can say that that is uh, going to be half of 2.2, which is 1.1. So what we're doing, what we're going to try and find is to try and find this distance here. Okay, So I'll just call that x and we'll see we can work out what this distance would be. Okay, now uh, if I just extract that triangle, it's wide angle, we'll say that's 1.1, that's x, and that's 1.9. So again, we're trying to find a shorter side. So using Pythagoras, we can say x squared is 1.9 squared minus 1.1 squared. And we work that out, and we get that x squared is. 2.4, we square root that to get x, and we get that x is the square root of 2.4, which gives us an answer of 1.5. Now always ask yourself, does my answer make sense? And in our case, it does. And you put in that it's 1.5 meters. Now that is not what the question asked for, okay? All we have done is we found this green dimension here, which I called x earlier on. What the question asks for is to work out the depth of the oil. Now, the depth of the oil is going to be this distance here. Now, we know that from the center down to the circle's outer edge, we know that from there to there, it's going to be the same as the radius. It's going to be 1.9. So what I have to do to work out the depth of the oil, which I'll call D, is just subtract the answer we just worked out from the radius of 1.9. So if I say D for depth, and we'll just write it down here, we'll say D is 1.9 minus 1.5. That gives you an answer of 0 0.4 meters. And that's how you would answer that question. So again, Look at your chord, split it for the perpendicular bisector, form a right angle triangle by marking on the radius, and then you're good to go. You can see that you can use Pythagoras, and that's so often the key to answering these kind of questions. So we'll give you two questions. You can have a go at them yourself. You pause the video. So there's the first one. I'll just go over the, each question one at a time, and uh, you can just pause the video and work through it yourself. Okay, so here's the first one. Um, we've got the base of a, of a compact disc stand, which has the shape of part of a circle. You're told that EF is a chord of the circle. And you're told that E from E to F is going to be 18 centimeters. Okay, so from there to there is 18 centimeters. Now, you're told the radius is 15 centimeters. That's what that would be from the center to the outer edge. Now, just as before, all we need to do is split our chord by drawing in a perpendicular bisector. Now, if we do that, we find that this here, draw this properly, this here, if we just call that x, and then if I mark on this dimension here, that's going to be half of 18, so we'll say that that's 9 centimeters. And I'm then seeing that what I've done is I've constructed a right angle triangle. Now, what you have to find is the width of the stand. Now, we already know that the width of the stand is going to be 
this distance plus x. Now that distance I've colored in blue is going to be a radius, so it's 15 centimeters. So once I find x, I've got the answer quite easily. So what do we have to do? Uh, we've got to use Pythagoras, so I'll just extract my right angle triangle. That's 9, that's 15. I want to work out x. So we'll say that x squared is 15 squared minus 9 squared. We work that out and we get that the x squared is 144. We can square root that and we can say that x is 12. So it's going to be 12 centimeters. So because I know that x is 12, the width of the stand is going to be 12 plus 15 which gives me an answer of 27 centimeters. And that's that question done. So on to the second question now. And again, pause the video, have a go at it yourselves, and then see uh, if you can check your answer and make sure that you agree. So this time we've got a circular saw, and you've seen that the depth of the blade can be uh, adjusted. Um, the circle that's got a center uh, O represents a blade, and the line AB represents a part of the horizontal guide that you see in the picture. We're told that the blade has a radius of 110 millimeters. So from O to A, it's going to be 110. Okay. Now you're told that AB has a length of 140. So once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this cord in two. Now, by doing that, we know that we're going to have perpendicular bisector running down vertically. Now, you know that AB has a length of 140. So because that's the case, from A to a point of intersection here, it's going to be half of that. So that's going to be 70 millimeters. Now, all I have to do now is work out this distance here, which I will call x. So if I just extract the right angle triangle, that's 110, that's 70. I can see that x squared is 110 squared minus 70 squared. We work that out and we get 7,200. I can square root that and I get that x is the square root of 7,200, which gives me an answer of 84.9, and that's millimeters. Okay, now what we're asked to do is work out the depth of saw exposed. Now you know that from the center down to the end of this line, that that's going to be a radius, okay? So you know that x plus d has to make 110, because the radius is 110. So the depth of the saw blade is going to be the full radius, 110, minus the dimension we called x, which is 84.9. We do that calculation, and we get our answer. So we worked out that the depth of the saw blade is 25.1 millimeters. So that's how you would tackle questions involving chords, bisectors. Um, when you're given a question like this, split the chord in two, extend your perpendicular bisector up to the center, and form a right angle triangle. Use Pythagoras, and you should find that having done the first step correctly, everything else falls into place. So I hope that you found that helpful.